Welcome back to Off the Cuff. My name is John Malasa, and today we're starting a new series covering the heroes and teachers of My Hero Academia. We'll be starting with the number one hero of the show, All Might. Remember, if you'd like to see a full two cents on any of these characters, just let me know in the comments below. That being said, let's get into it. What do I like and what do I dislike about Toshinari, aka All Might? We'll start with the pros first. One, All Might is said to be the strongest character of the My Hero Academia universe at the start of the show, and dear lord does he deliver. Every punch is a hurricane of force, and he doesn't fly like Superman, he just jumps right across town. The guy moves too fast for the human eye to track and has a nasty habit of changing the weather with his fists. What? This is ridiculous. It's like this guy is the love child of hype and weight gain. Regardless, moving on to number two. Number two, he has a great secret. His powers only last so long and his infinite strength and speed are depleting. After a nasty fight with a villain, All Might suffers an injury that limits his power use to three hours a day, and this time limit is dwindling fast. He also passes on his power to a young student, which further increases the degradation of his power. This is an excellent narrative tool, as the audience is just waiting for All Might to turn back into Small Might, or Toshinari, his tiny form, and just cough up blood. Giving him this weakness definitely ups the stakes, but it also helps with the next thing that I love. 3. Toshinari is truly sympathetic. He's always one step away from revealing his big secret and becoming helpless in the battlefield. That being said, he charges in anyway. All Might's weakness is that he's just too committed to being a hero, and he just wants to help people live happy lives. He's more than willing to sacrifice himself for that, and this conviction gives him respect from both heroes and villains, and rightly so. We want to see him create a better world for everyone. Knowing that someone like this is fading in power is just heart-wrenching. His days as a hero are numbered, and his protege is not ready to take over yet. So for the first two and a half seasons, All Might trudges on, protecting people and endangering his own life. 4. And I don't want to give away anything for those people that are starting this series. All Might? His battle with All For One? Yes. Correct. Good job. He's a champ, alright? That's all I'm gonna say. 5th. All Might and Midoriya have a great relationship. They come together by circumstance, and Toshinari sees a little of himself in the young Deku. The fact that Midoriya's father is absent in his life makes for a great dynamic between the two. This makes it all the more difficult to know that All Might, Deku's symbol of power and heroism, is growing weaker and weaker over time. That at a point, he'll lose this beacon in his life. So with all that praise, what do I actually dislike? One, he's always on the brink of running out of power. I know this is the point of the drama, but every fight he's in comes down to, will he run out of power? Will he be able to finish the fight? I mean, there are loads of ways to create stakes without resorting to this, like collateral damage or protecting the innocent. And number two, Small Might, his little Toshinari form, is really weird looking. That's pretty much it. I really love this character, and he's probably my favorite character in the entire show. Well, my name's John Malasa, and that's my two cents. Do you like All Might? Do you hate him? Do you have some third opinion that no one will agree with? Continue the conversation below, and if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep updated with all our videos.